the HILO method. This method is used to estimate variable costs using the highest and lowest activity levels among several observances. Analyzing mixed costs. The reason why we're using the high-low method is in order to be able to analyze and predict mixed costs. The high-low method uses the high-low formula with the mixed cost formula to predict variable and fixed costs. The high-low formula is variable costs are equal to the difference in cost divided by the difference in activity and we'll go through an example of this so that you can understand exactly what I'm referring to. And the mixed cost formula is mixed costs are equal to fixed costs plus variable cost per unit multiplied by the number of units or y equals a, a representing the fixed cost, plus b, b representing the variable cost per unit, and x representing the number of units. A high-low example. A hospital administrator asks your help in budgeting for admitting costs. You ask to look at the data and we're giving the following information for the last eight months. So we have the month of May here through the month of December and then all the patients that were admitted for these various months as well as the costs associated with admitting those patients. You decide to use the high-low method to isolate variable costs and use this information with the mixed cost formula to give the administrator a method to predict or budget future costs. So it's a several step method. Total mixed costs equal fixed and variable costs. So here we have our data over here and then we have our analysis over here. So we'll have our data and then we'll go through the steps over here on the right. You know total mixed cost is comprised of both fixed and variable costs. The following formula is the mixed cost formula. Total mixed cost equal fixed cost plus variable cost per unit times the volume or numbers of units or y equals a plus bx. Therefore, you will estimate variable costs using the high-low method of the formula that we'll demonstrate. And then we're going to subtract variable costs from the total mixed costs to determine the fixed portion. And so we're going to use the variable cost to subtract from the total mixed costs. So the variable costs here, total mixed costs, and then we're going to isolate fixed costs. Now armed with an estimate of both the variable and the fixed cost, you can provide the administrator with a formula to predict costs. First, you look for the highest month of activity. So what's the month with the highest activity? Right, it's June. So June, they had 1,900 patients and the total cost for the department were 15,200. So next, we want to look for the lowest level of activity. Right, it's November. November, they saw 1,100 patients and the total cost of that department were $12,800. So now we're ready to use the high-low formula. Determining the variable portion of total costs. We're going to use the high-low method formula to estimate the variable portion of the cost. So this is going to be variable cost equals the difference in cost divided by the difference in activity. I'm going to abbreviate variable cost into VC. And so now we're going to look at the high cost. Well, the high costs are the costs associated with the highest level of activity. So we key in on what's high and low by looking at activity levels. So the highest cost, the highest level of activity was 1900. So the costs associated with that were 15,200. From that, we're going to subtract the costs associated with the lowest level of activity, which is November. And that's going to be 12,800. So high cost minus low cost, and then the high activity minus the low activity. So we see that the highest level of activity was 1,900. The lowest activity was 1,100. And so that's going to be June activity minus November activity. And so then putting in the numbers into our formula, we have 15,200 minus 12,800 divided by 1,900 minus 1,100. And so that's 2,400 divided by 800 patients or $3 per patient. So now we estimate that it's going to take $3 per patient for every person that's admitted to the hospital.
Now you would like to know the now that you know the variable cost per patient, so you will use the mixed cost formula to isolate the fixed portion of the total mixed costs. So we know the total mixed costs because we have those numbers. We have the number for June and we also have the number for November. We can either use new, June or November to solve for fixed costs. So let's just look at June. June, the total mixed costs were 15200 which is equal to the total fixed costs, which we don't know yet, plus $3 for every patient seen, and the number of patients seen in the month of June was 1900 So it's going to be 15200 is equal to the fixed cost plus 5700 or to isolate the fixed cost, we'll take the total mixed cost, subtract the variable portion. That's going to be equal to the total fixed cost, and it's going to give us total fixed cost of 9500 We can see that we're going to do the same thing for November, exact same method that we're going to use, and it's going to give us the same total fixed costs. So now we're going to put the, both of these together and use it to predict what they can budget for in the future because they know both the variable portion and the fixed portion associated with the cost of this department. So now you use the information from your analysis to determine future mixed costs specifically for this specific department or using these two observations. Total mixed costs are going to equal to the fixed portion 9500 plus $3 times every patient seen. Therefore, if the patient admittance are expected to be $2,000 in a month, you can approximate cost to be total mixed cost of the department will be 9500 the fixed portion, plus $3 times every patient, and they expect 2,000 patients in this month, so that's going to be 2,000. So then it'll be 9500 plus 6,000, and then total mixed cost you're going to predict for this department, if they have 2,000 patients, will be 15500 you have estimated future costs looking at two months of activities. The high-low method is not precise and should be revisited and challenged periodically. To recap, you find the highest and lowest levels of activity and use the high-low method formula to determine variable costs. So that was variable costs equal to the highest the cost associated with the highest level of activity minus the cost associated with the lowest activity level. So remember, we're keying in on activity level, and then we're going to fill in this information based upon activity level. Uh, cost is the numerator, activity is the denominator. So we're going to take the highest level of activity minus the lowest level of activity, and that gave us a, a three dollars per patient for the variable costs. Then and using the variable cost information in either and in either the high or the low month, you can use the mixed cost formula to isolate the fixed cost. So we use June total mixed cost is equal to A or fixed cost plus three dollars times every patient seen, and we found out that the fixed costs associated with this department were nine thousand five hundred dollars. Then we're going to use the variable and fixed cost information in the mixed cost formula. We're going to reconstruct it so that we can use it to predict first future costs. We're going to say that total mixed costs are equal to the fixed portion plus $3 for every patient they expect to see.